Flash floods engulfed New Ross. IT happened so fast. As the heavens opened over New Ross, it quickly became apparent that the town had a huge problem. Water began to pool and flow into shops, houses, and buildings and streets turned into streams around the town. I've never seen anything like it, one eyewitness said. Within minutes, I was knee-deep in water, inside a shop. For the County Wexford Fire Service, the calls started coming in at around 5 p.m. They didn't stop. Over the coming hours, more than 30 calls would be directed towards the five units who responded to the scene, meaning that quick thinking and prioritization was required. Over the period of about an hour and a half, intense rainfall resulted in serious pluvial flooding which caused considerable damage to property in the town, Acting Chief Fire Officer Ray Murphy said. Our crews were immediately deployed on site. There were five units of the fire service on the scene from New Ross, Enniscorthy, and Wexford. It was unbelievably busy. Eventually, the rain subsided, but fire crews along with the Civil Defense and Wexford County Council staff remained on the scene until late on Monday night, helping out wherever they were needed. On Tuesday morning the cleanup began in earnest and those who attended the unbelievable scenes in New Ross were to meet with Minister for Housing and Local Government Dara O'Brien and brief him on what took place. Early on Tuesday morning, following an emergency management team meeting Wexford County Council reached out to the Department of Social Protection with the ultimate goal of getting grant aid supports in place for affected individuals and businesses as soon as possible. However, Having gone from battling wildfires in a heat wave around the county to pulling people from submerged vehicles trapped in a flood, it's sure to go down as a week that members of the Wexford Fire Service are not likely to forget any time soon.